I'm Ben Micellis from the Midas Touch Network. Federal Judge Tanya Chutkin just granted a gag order be imposed on Donald Trump, prohibiting Donald Trump from posting or reposting or just generally attacking the special counsel, the special counsel staff, their family, the court, the court staff, and the court staff's family, the same way Donald Trump threatened the court staff in the New York Attorney General civil fraud case. Folks, this order was just handed down by Judge Tanya Chutkin in an explosive hearing in Washington, D.C., in connection with special counsel Jack Smith's criminal prosecution of Donald Trump for trying to overthrow the results of the 2020 election. At one point during this hearing when Donald Trump's lawyers claimed Donald Trump's been fully compliant with anything and he's made no threats at all, Judge. Judge Tanya Chutkin even laughed in their faces and says, and said, I take a very different view on that than you do, and then proceeded to go through all of Donald Trump's various posts on social media, where he threatened witnesses, where he threatened the court, where he called special counsel Jack Smith a thug. And as Donald Trump's lawyers tried to argue, well, this is just Donald Trump engaged in political speech. He's just trying to campaign. Judge Chutkin would give hypotheticals like, do you think calling for the execution of a former military general who uh, is a witness in this case, you think that's part of his campaigning? You think calling a prosecutor a thug is a part of Donald Trump's campaigning? And by the way, special counsel Jack Smith's team that asked for this hearing made it very clear at the outset, look, Donald Trump can do whatever he wants in attacking Joe Biden. President Biden has absolutely nothing to do with this case. Go at it. Criticize President Biden. But where it comes to attacking people involved in this case, Donald Trump should not be treated in any way like he is above the law to which uh, the defense counsel lawyers, Trump's lawyers, basically said, this is a direct quote as uh, transcribed by Scott McFarland, reporter who was in the court, quote, we have to tolerate a bit of colorful speech in political debates. And then Judge Chutkin responded, so if there is violence or threats, that's something that we need to tolerate. That's something that we need to accept, to which Donald Trump's lawyers say, well, there's other ways that we can deal with that. I think referring to you can criminally charge him for that conduct. Well, if you can criminally charge him, you could also impose a gag order as well on him. And so the judge also offered other hypotheticals. And the judge said, for example, Let's take a look at this hypothetical. Um, Bill Barr should be executed for his many treasonous acts. Do you think that that is um, the type of speech that's appropriate, that you think is just colorful language? And Donald Trump's lawyers, rather than basically stating that is not acceptable speech, that would be horrific, Donald Trump's lawyers go, I would just advise uh, my client not to do that. You would advise them not to do it. That is called a criminal threat. Judge Chutkin gave other hypotheticals as well. Um, one of the ones that she basically says is, um, what if Donald Trump said about a witness, I hope this witness stays loyal and keeps his mouth shut because um, otherwise bad things could happen or they may not get what they're looking for in the long run. And to that, Donald Trump's lawyer said, oh, that's perfectly acceptable speech. And Judge Chutkin was not having that at all. Just to remind you of like who's here in this courtroom, why we're here. So you have Jack Smith's team there made up of lawyers from the special counsel's office. You have Molly Gaston, Thomas Wyndham, and an FBI agent named Jamie Garman. They're some of the leads on special counsel Jack Smith's team in the DC case. On Trump's side, you have John Loro, Greg Singer, Todd Blanche, Emil Bove, and Stephen Weiss. So a lot of lawyers there for uh, Donald Trump as well. And the hearing began first and foremost with Judge Chutkin basically saying, I'm not moving this trial date, okay? Trials taking place in March, come hell or high water. So don't try to anyway 
use arguments here today, Trump's lawyers, to try to continue this trial or claim that trial shouldn't take place in March. Because that's precisely what Donald Trump's lawyers tried to do throughout the proceeding. They said, well, Judge, if we just move this till after the 2024 election, there wouldn't be any issues at all because Donald Trump's just engaged in normal campaigning. And she said, enough. Stop saying that. <laughs> Trial's going in March of 2024. She also addressed this issue up front about potential uh, polling of uh, the uh, veneer, the Washington, D.C. jury pool. And she said she's not really going to place any restrictions on that and told the prosecutor there, I'm not placing any restrictions on that. Ultimately, I want Trump's lawyers to submit the methodology if they're going to try to conduct a poll for a motion to change venue to try to claim that somehow they can't get a fair trial in Washington, D.C. But I'm not imposing any further restrictions there. So, you know, she, she's just being even keeled and saying, look, that's just the way it's going to be. Um, and as the proceeding takes place, you've got John Loro, the lawyer for Donald Trump, basically says, look, Judge, what you've been doing here has been working. So there really is no reason to change any of your processes and procedures. I know Special Counsel Jack Smith has requested a limited gag order, but Donald Trump's done nothing wrong at all. All the court observers, Josh Gerstein, Kyle Cheney, Scott McFarland, they've all reported that Judge Chutkin then literally laughed in the face of Trump's lawyer and said, I have to take issue with you there, Mr. Loro. As Josh Gerstein says, there's laughter in the courtroom as well when uh, Loro then tried to say, look, I... I served on the neighborhood commissioner in Washington, D.C. here, so I, I, I love this city. There's, there's no threats that are going to be happening against this city, to which Judge Chutkin responded, quoting one of Donald Trump's posts, oh, is, uh, were you a commissioner here before or after it became a filthy crime-ridden uh, city, referring to Donald Trump's post, and there was um, kind of laughter in the uh, courtroom. One of the things Judge Chutkin said is, if you're claiming that Donald Trump is saying these things as part of his campaign, what purpose of his campaign does it serve by calling a prosecutor a thug and going after their family? And then John Loro is basically, then John Loro goes, what am I supposed to do in the face of this oppression, Judge? I'm being oppressed. My client's being oppressed. And Judge Chutkin says, can we please tone this down a little bit? And then John Loro says, what? Are you trying to censor me? Are you trying to censor my speech? And then Judge Chutkin says, calm down. This is a direct quote from Kyle Cheney. He's done a great job reporting in the courtroom. He goes, this is what Judge Chutkin says. Obviously, Mr. Loro, you have an audience today and in general other than me, other than the court in mind, but please tone it down. And John Laurel's like, I am toned down. I am toned down. One of the things Judge Chutkin focused on as well that she was very disturbed about was the behavior of Donald Trump in the New York civil case, in the New York attorney general case, and how he threatened the judge's law clerk. And Judge Chutkin's like, how can, I, without a gag order, how am I confident he's not going to do it here? And then John Laura was like, just trust me, trust me. It's not going to happen again. It's different here with me in Washington, D.C., so you don't have to worry about it at all. Um, and then one of the key things that Judge Chutkin said is, look, Trump is a criminal defendant. He's facing four felony charges. He is under the supervision of the criminal justice system, and he must comply with the conditions of release. He doesn't have the right to say and do exactly as he pleases. Judge Chutkin also says this trial will not yield to the election cycle. We will not revisit the trial date and no one is above the law in my courtroom, period, full stop. Judge Chutkin took a brief recess and she imposed a gag order against Donald Trump. The penalties for violating the gag order would be sanctions and sanctions could be as high as um, incarceration, um, but sanctions can be monetary, sanctions could be moving the trial date up. There's numerous sanctions, that, but Donald Trump will now be prohibited from attacking on social media or elsewhere, as he's been doing, Jack Smith, the court, 
re can't repost stuff like that as well. Um, and if he does that, you know, we will see what the ramifications are. But Judge Chutkin I think, managed her courtroom pitch perfect today. She very, you know, balanced, took the arguments, took a recess, came back um, and made that grant, partially granting the limited gag order that was being requested by special counsel Jack Smith's team. We'll keep you posted as we learn more here on the Midas Touch Network, but if you can hit subscribe, we're on our way to 2 million subscribers here at the Midas Touch Network and uh, have a great day. Oh, if you want to support the growth of this uh, media network, go to patreon.com slash Midas Touch, P-A-T-R-E-O-N.com slash Midas Touch. Have a great day. Hey, Midas Mighty, love this report? Continue the conversation by following us on Instagram, at Midas Touch, to keep up with the most important news of the day. What are you waiting for? Follow us now.